Jerusalem is built like a city that is closely compacted together. That is where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to praise the name of the Lord according to the statute given to Israel. There stand the thrones for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. If you want to know, will I be any place where Jesus physically touched? You're there. Every year, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee takes hundreds of people of many different denominations from all over the country on a tour of Israel. They visit historical and biblical sites around Jerusalem, such as the Southern Steps, the Garden Tomb, and the Western Wall. They worship together at these sites, walking where Jesus walked and learning more about him by seeing firsthand where the stories of the Bible that many have heard for decades took place. For many, this trip is more than just a tour. It is a once in a lifetime spiritual experience. I think like coming here, it's very, it's very different than what you expect. Cause I, when you read the, the scripture and when you know Christ, it's, it's like you have this image in your head. And when you get here, it's, it's like the spiritual movement for you, um, because you get to see where Jesus was, um, where he walked. And I think it also brings to life the crucifixion and the resurrection and everything that he did for us. For most, it seems surreal at first. It's a new place. You're exhausted from travel. But then, it starts to click. You're in the cistern that Jesus was kept in during his trial. You're seeing the empty tomb with your own eyes. You're sitting on the very steps that your savior taught on. There'll be moments that are very powerful and spiritual that just get right to the core of your soul. Sitting there, all of a sudden, it dawned on me, I'm here. I'm here where it all happened, where Jesus died, where he was buried, where he rose again, and, and he did all that for me. Even those who go on these trips with no expectations of meeting God's presence cannot deny the sense of awe that comes with being in the Holy Land. For I think so many of us who come here, it just gives us that extraordinary sense of presence. God's Spirit speaks to us. And I hope that His Spirit has spoken to you in the course of being here and that it was not just a place to come and visit. Jerusalem is one of the oldest cities in the world and holds so much meaning for different groups of people. Regardless of which quarter you come to see, Armenian, Christian, Jewish, or Muslim, you can't help but feel touched by your time in the city of David. Just to be here in person and to experience this is amazing. You know, we serve a wonderful God that, that loves us and, and um, we were just blessed to be a part of this. This is an overwhelming experience that I will never forget. And I'm so blessed to be able to be here. We need to remember not so much where something happened, but what happened and why. And how does that touch us? You don't have to physically come to Israel to meet God. You don't have to physically walk up and down these steps and say, Jesus walked here, so did I, in order to know him, to meet him. But sometimes it can really help to put it all in perspective. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people. From this time forth, 
and forevermore.